What's up guys, this is Chris Major from Schuylkill River Fly Shop. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a fly tying tutorial of a nymph pattern of mine that's been working really well so far during this winter season. Uh, what this pattern is called is uh, Frenchie. Basically it's going to be a caddis imitation type of fly. Most of the fly is colored brown. A lot of guys like to tie this fly with hackle. I'm going to be using a type of crystal flash yarn that's going to perform the body. A little bit of hackle from the neck, then right behind the bead here you can see there's a little bit of orange that's just going to be with our thread. And then a bead head. This is a size 16 nymph pattern. I usually like to fish this with a, uh, a midge pupa off the back during this time of year. Uh, usually about six inches, six to eight inches behind. Um, I've caught, just the other day, I caught three brownies down the Topahawken on it, and it's been working really well so far. So, we're going to tie this one today. To get started, you're going to need a size 16 egg hook or nymph tying hook with a small gold bead already put on it. We're going to be using a bright fluorescent orange color 6 aught thread on our base. If I can get this right. We're going to wrap this all the way down the shank of the hook to the bend. A little bit down the bend actually. Take a small pair of scissors, clip the axis. Okay, well, these flies are also known as pheasant tail nymphs. The main reason is because hanging off the back of them, you can see here in my example. There's a little bit of pheasant tail in there sticking out the back to give off an emerging caddis look. So that's what we're going to try and imitate right now. I'm using hen pheasant tail feather. This is one I actually got a few seasons ago. So, fresh kill. Usually I like to get uh, about four or five strands and cut off about half, eh, about half an inch or so of it. You see there it's about half an inch that fell off there. Place it up the hook. The half because it's at a half an inch, you're only going to be really using about I'd say about two centimeters of it. So what we're going to do is place the tail up against the bead. We're going to make one slow wrap, pull tight, then wrap it tightly up against the shank of the hook, all the way up to the bead. And then back down. Actually use a little less so I can put a little bit more in there. Well, I can do this. There we go. Now we're going to add in <coughs> our crystal thread. We're 
we're going to use a brown tinted, rusty brown tint of our crystal thread. We'll take out about, hmm, try not to go too heavy with it, maybe about four to five inches of it. Clip that off. I actually only got three inches out of this one, but that's okay. You don't want these flies looking too thick, especially with a small size 16 nymph. It'll really throw off the look of the fly if you go too thick with it. Try and get this back on here. We're going to take our thread that we cut, we're going to tie the very edge of it in the back of the fly, just one of the ends, doesn't matter which end, it's all the same thickness and length, it's not really going to matter. Now we're going to wrap our yarn up evenly to about, I'd say, two-thirds of the way up around there right to the point of the hook we're going to keep it now we're going to slowly wrap forward our yarn in segments not overlapping any of them just keeping the same thickness up until that point is this key here because like I said if you throw off the thickness at all it will mess up your fly I'm gonna wrap our yarn around here pull tight one more time pull tight Snip off that little bit of excess wrap around a few times Now normally what people use is a type of brown dubbing for this part. What I like to use is peacock hackle. I feel it gives it a little more of a leg structure that a lot of caddis have. And I'll get two strands of this out. I'm using the thicker feathers too. A lot of the greener, the green brown kind of look very shiny and when used as hackle they uh, give off a very well leg presentation uh, I also like to use these in my uh, beetles and black ant patterns for the same reasons and we're just going to wrap this around a few times this one you can overlap a little bit because it is going to give off a little thicker look Yeah, you see there I lost part of my hackle. You don't want to do that. Again. I should be using a hackle holder right now, but her hackle pliers. I didn't really feel like grabbing them though, so that's alright now for now. Clip off the access. And as you saw I only wrapped it around maybe like six six or seven times and you can see now it's starting to get that good presentation good look of what it's supposed to eventually look like this see, this fly right here now the last part is we're gonna give it a thick orange neck right up at the back of the bead Try to make it even. You don't want it looking distorted at all. And 
I actually wrapped a little too much. That's it. Now for the last part. Normally what I would do is whip finish at this point, but I also don't have my whip finisher right here. So I'm just going to do a half hitch and then do a drop of super glue. You can get it to half hitch. There we go. Come off the end. And there you go. Now, like I said, I did a half hitch here, so I'm also going to add a drop of super glue in just to hold that tie. But overall, that's what it's going to look like in the end. And it's going to be a <clears throat> really good pattern for these winter months and any other time of the year, too. Uh, a lot of guys will use these in multiple types of streams. I've used them in native waters and small uh, spring fed streams in the mountains and caught little tiny six inch brookies and stuff on just this nymph pattern. Then again the native fish they don't really care much for the type of food you're eating just the type of presentation you give them but it'll catch pretty much any trout anywhere so there you go. The pheasant tail slash Frenchie nymph. So go tie yourself up some and get back to us on our blog and let us know how you did with them. We'll see you around.